team, okay, and a man team. And uh, I've been asked to do a video focusing on the core, okay. So what you need to know about the core is you've got core deep muscles of every um, joint in the body. The core that you generally hear about is the one around your um, pelvis, lower back, abdominal area. So the core is the deepest muscles, so they will just kick in when you're um, upright against gravity and in a good posture. So you don't really need to worry about them so much, okay? And they should kick in normally unless you've got really good posture, pain, um, post-surgery, that sort of thing. Um, so then what we can do is focus a little bit more then on the outer and um, abdominal muscles. So you've got your deep core muscles and uh, deep abdominal and back muscles. Then you've got your um, more superficial muscles, which are your stronger muscles responsible for bending the spine, twisting the spine, and that sort of thing. So um, yoga, we will go through some exercises that you can kind of focus on this whole area. Okay, so lower back, core, abdominal area. We're just going to warm up first in a four point kneel. So on your hands and knees, your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. You're going to inhale and you're going to arch and you're going to look up. Big breath in and then big breath out, round and look back at your belly button. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look back. Breathing in. So you're just warming up the spine here into flexion and extension. Getting each vertebrae in the spine moving. A little bit of weight through your wrists. So just with your own breath, make sure you're moving the head through the spine. Sit your bottom back on your heels and stretch your hands out forwards. This is child's pose. You've got in the shoulders a little bit of a stretch here, the spine a little bit of a stretch. Big breath in. And out. Come back up to your four point kneeling position. Bring your left hand up in line with your nose and then you're going to reach up with the right hand, breathing in. And then tread your right hand under the left armpit. Breathing out. Breathing in, reach all the way up. Breathing out, thread on. So you're getting a bit of a twist here through the spine. Keep the connection with your breath. And out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And one more on the right. Breathing in. And breathing out. Right hand to center. Raise the left arm up, breath in, breath out, under. Breath in, lift, breath out, twist. And you can go with your own breath. I'm giving you cues, but feel free to do it with your own breath. Breathing in. 
come back to four point haven. And you're going to stretch your right leg straight out behind and your left arm forwards. So this is a nice one to just waken up to the core. So you can see here my spine hasn't changed, it's just movement through my shoulders and my hips. Let's swap sides. So you might need, depending on um, your strength, you might need to do a little bit of an activation through your lower abdominal, but you probably don't even need to, to keep your spine level and still. So swap sides. So you don't want your back arching here is the big thing. So when you lift, your spine should move. So it's just the movement through the hips and the shoulders. Okay, and it should feel relatively easy. If, if with that you feel a lot of movement through your spine or your pelvis is shifting side to side, then just switch on through your lower abdominals a little bit more. Stretch your toes and your heels apart, or your heels and your fingertips apart, so you're lengthening around the spine, the back of your neck is long. And back. So you're trying to like grow the space between each vertebra here. So stretch your fingers towards one wall, your toes towards the opposite wall. Big long stretch, keep your spine nice and stable. And down, really nice. And again. And down. And one. Left leg, right arm. And down. This time we're going to lift straight out and then we're going to bring our knee, right knee to our chest and our elbow towards our knee. So curl them into a little ball on the way down and then breathe out, extend out. Breathe in, draw everything in. Breathe out, extend. And again, roll into that little ball. Extend and again, round and extend, round and extend, round and extend, round and extend, and then lower. Swap sides, right arm, left leg. And extend. And down. Breathing in on the lengthening if you wish. Breathing out, drawing in. Or you can do whatever way feels comfortable for your breath. Breathing in. But we're just warming up the core, warming up the spine, warming up the joints. Last one. And lower down. Okay. You might want to shake out the hands. Okay. Stretch the wrists all the way forwards, all the way back, all the way forwards, all the way back. We're going to be doing a little bit of work <clears throat> through our hands. You might feel it through the wrists. You can also come onto your forearms at any time so you feel that your wrists are getting little bit too much work, okay? So we're going to lift up into our downward dog. So we're going to take it slow till we get our downward dog nice and right. Okay, so you're going to tuck your toes under, your shoulders are over your wrists and your hips are over your knees. You're going to lift your hips and then you're going to use your hands and press your whole body back towards your thighs. So you can see my hips are high, my knees are bent and I'm right up on my toes. Let your head hang down and then push through your wrists a little bit more so you're pressing your body all the way back. Keep your hips as high as this you need to keep that length in your spine. So you can see here that the spine is nice and long, okay? You're not rounded, you've got a nice and long spine. So this might be how it looks for you, or you can try and straighten the legs a little bit, or you can try and lower the heels. It's really variable depending on your flexibility, what this pose will look like. <clears throat> but you want a nice distance between your wrists and your feet. So 
So you can walk your feet back if you're if you're like this, then you're too close. So just walk your feet back a little, lift your hips a little higher, keep the knees bent. Only lower the heels if that's available. You don't need to work on that so much. You want to really focus on getting the length through your spine. Make sure the arms are straight, the arms are active, so you're just not hanging through the shoulder joint. Press into the mat with your hands, press into the mat with your feet. Lift through the hips, lengthen through the spine, head is nice and long and loose. Big breath in. And breath out. Okay, so you can come down here into child's pose for a little bit of a break if you need. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're going to bring our knees towards the ground. We're just going to almost go back into that four point kneel position, but we're hovering the knees slightly off the ground. So this is a really nice core one here. So you just warm up to the core again, and then you're going to shoot back up into your downward dog. <coughs> And then bend the knees almost into your four point knee position and then shoot back up. And again, lower the knees. So pause here and you can hold this position or you can try and lift one leg, lower down, lift the opposite leg, lower down, keep the knees hovering. You can lift one arm, it's very hard not to shift the weight here. Shift the weight slightly into the right hand and come down left in the hand lowers, right hand left. And back down. Come down into your child's pose, you're down your dog. The other one is fine. So you're going to have a few breaths here. Or in child's pose if you need the rest. Let's hover the knees again, okay? And you're either going to go through that where you lift one leg or you're going to do one leg and the opposite arm. And you're going to pause for two breaths. Swap sides. And again. Or you can just be doing each side individually, each limb. Let's do one more. And that's what. And then lower the knees, press your bottom back onto your heels and stretch the hands forwards. So you're going to have your shoulders over your elbows this time and your hands straight out in front. Then you're going to tuck your toes under and you're going to lift your hips as if into that downward dog position. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to. Press through your elbows this time, allow your head to relax down. Keep your hips lifted, keep your knees bent as much as you need to, to keep that length in the spine, okay? And then you're going to come from here into a plank position. So you're walking your feet back. And your shoulders are over your elbows, slightly forward, I would say, with your elbows. Pause here. And then lower your belly all the way onto the floor. Bring your hands back behind you, so your palms are facing towards your hips. Your toes are together, and your chin is tucked in, and the back of your neck is long. And then you're going to lift through your legs, lift through your arms, and you're coming into a slight back bend. So we're working the deep back muscles here, as well as lengthening through the abdominals and activating through there. Three. 
Three more breaths here. Raise the hands a little bit more. Raise the feet a little bit more. Squeeze your buttocks. And then lower the hands, rest the forehead on the hands. Let's go again into that after two breaths. So keep your chin tucked slightly in, looking forward and down. Raise the arms, raise the leg, toes together, palms facing the hips. Raise the arms. Good, bring your hands back down by your ribs, press your hips back, child's pose. Two breaths here. Then we're going to come into a plank position on our wrists this time, so our shoulders are above our um, wrists. And then we've got a nice line from our shoulder to our hips to all the way to our ankles. The chin is tucked in and we're looking slightly forwards and down. So our head is also an extension of our spine. Okay, so what I want you to do here is I want you to take a breath into your belly. So breathe in, feel the belly rise. And then breathe out slightly, draw your belly button back towards the spine. Big breath in, feel the belly rise. And then breath out, draw the belly button back towards the spine. Breathe in, belly button rises. Breathe out, draw it back in. Then we're going to bend our elbows and we're going to come down to each other angle, which is an alternate push up. So your elbows stay in by your side here and just hover above the ground and then lower down. Raise the hands, raise the feet, tuck the chin in, a little bit of that back bend again. Bring your hands back to where your ribs are, press your bottom back onto your heels, stretch forwards or backwards even. Big breath in, and out. Let's come back into that plank position. Okay, breathe in, we're just gonna do one big breath in here. And then breathe out, draw the belly button towards the spine. We're gonna bend our elbows again and pause in our chaturanga, so we're just hovering above the ground here. And then we're going to push straight back up into our plank position. Okay, so you should see there that there's no arching through my lower back. If there is, you want to be really focused and not activating through your lower um, abdominals and belly button area. So let's just do that again, keeping no um, arch in the back. So keep the back steady basically. So lower and down. And then pressing back. Good, and then let's press back into our downward dog. So keep the hips high, bend the knee, head forward. Good. Let's come forward into our plank position again. So here you can come down onto your forearms if your wrists are getting tired. Otherwise, we're going to roll over onto our left hand. So start with your right foot out in front, okay? And then you're going to raise your left or right arm all the way up and over. And then lower your hips slightly and then raise up all the way again. And out, on the way down you breathe, breathe in to extend. Okay, breathe out, lower. If this is feeling relatively easy, just take that right foot and pop it on top of the left. So you're doing the same thing, you're lowering your hips almost to the ground and then you're raising all the way back up and over. 
You can do this on your forearm as well. And down. And up. And then last one. And then come back into that plank position. You can press back into downward dog or into child's pose, whichever you wish. And just pause for two breaths. And then we're going to swap sides, okay? So you're going to come into your plank position and this time you're rolling over onto your right wrist. Raise the left arm up and over. And then lower through the hips. And again. And lower. And again. And lower. And remember if you want to advance it, you can even lift that left leg. So keep that left leg slightly off. So you're bringing in your obliques here a little bit. You're bringing in the core, you're bringing in your quadrilles and bar on your hips. And then come back into your diamond dog. Lower the knees, press back into your child pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Okay, let's just finish off the core workout by coming onto our back, okay? So, you're going to rest the head down and you're going to hook your knees into your chest. Then you're going to keep your right knee in your chest as you lengthen the left leg out. And then we're going to swap legs, okay? If you have any problems with your neck, you can keep the head down. Just be a much more gentle sort of exercise. But otherwise, you're going to tuck your chin in look at your belly button and then as you hug the knee in you're going to draw your belly button in towards the spine and you're going to breathe out so breathing out short sharp breaths here keep that belly button really engaged as you draw the knee in So that's just a different way of breathing, but through the breath and that exhale, drawing the belly button towards your spine, you're really trying to activate through the abdominals, okay? So we're going to come into our, um, to a twist here, so we're going to have our left leg out in front, our left elbow comes to our right knee, and then we come back to centre, but we don't lower the head, and then we turn and swap sides. Okay, so breathing out, breathe in to come to centre, breathe out to twist to the side. So it's really about using your breath and that drawing in of the abdominal and the belly button area and the breath out, rather than doing it fast. So nice and slow, you increase the time under tension to make the muscles work that little bit harder. And you get time to really draw the belly button towards the spine to activate through the muscles that we want. Side and come up into sitting. Okay, 
So that was just 25 minutes of core and um, strengthening basically through the abdominal area and the lower spine. Um, if you have any questions about that, just drop me a line or a comment um, and I can modify or give you some modifications if you're having any struggles. Okay, thank you.